picked this nice little hunting knife up at the at the uh, farmer's market this, this Saturday morning. Guy wants me to clean it up and, you know, restore it, sharpen it. I don't know what kind it is. I can't tell if there's any marks on it or not. But hopefully it'll be something right there. Sort of like the one I did the other day. A little worse shape. From the seafood man on a Saturday. Well, it sounds like fish knives today, for Tuesday, and more fish knives tomorrow, from what a text guy told me. So it's going to be uh, fish season soon. For this fine weather, everybody wants to go fishing. The ones that got kayaks, we don't have to buy any gas. Tonight, it is... Uh-oh. Uh leftover clams from the other night in the clam juice. Stand by. Wait a minute. Well, my first pickup is a vintage butterfly knife. He says World War II. I'll give you some better pictures when we get home. But this is a nice ticket, boy. Other than it's got rust on it. Well, here are the other two from today. This is all I know about. I got a Mercer and an unknown chef's knife. No marks, no name, no anything. You can tell this one's been in a dishwasher. Okay. Well, I had a meet and greet today at the pool hall. Guy brought, lady brought me uh, two knives from Italy and two knives she's bought from some friend of hers and a cleaver she bought in online. It's got a big chip in it right there. Okay, we got some action.
Well, I'm on my way to my last restaurant exchange. And I got a fella supposed to meet me over there with a, a gathering of Wustos and a small loper. And then a lady texted me said, I got some, I'm going to drop some stuff off in your box. I said, okay. So when I get home, I, I may have some knives in my box. Stand by for a nice Friday. I hope. Well, I see the lids all jar. Uh oh, I see a lot of looper, loafers. <laughs> I was thinking knives. Maybe knives is in the bag. Stand by. Well, it's one hedge trimmer, two loafers, a woodsman's axe, and nine pair of pruners. A gathering of yard tools. Well, here's the Wustoffs I got from the restaurant exchange drop-off, the last one, a whole family. Well, it's five steak knives, one pair, a pair of scissors, bread, and a, and a chef's. Well, we're here, set up. It's cold and windy. It's uh, in the mid-50s, but there's no sun under here where we are. It's just cold. <laughs> in the wind, look at that wind blowing. It blowed everybody's stuff over like that. They had to turn it sideways so the wind wouldn't blow it over. It blew it over several times. We've been kind of busy. We had a... Uh, well, we got one right now, it just came in. Oh, that's a pretty thing. Oh, we're home from the market. I got a text on the way home, said, I dropped some knives and some scissors off in your box. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see a package over there too. Oh, yeah, what do we got here? Stand by. The mailman brought me all these. This is the guy that sends me all the Spyderco knives. You've seen them, you've seen them several times before. Spydercos and other kinds. Mostly big Spydercos. And he sends me some scissors once in a while. But he's never sent me any kitchen knives before until today. Got two big old chef's knives and four of those, five of those colored jobs. And what, we got five pair of scissors. I haven't got into the other package yet. Two more scissors. A Cafalon Santuco and a Worcester Chef's. Okay. Saturday ended up being better than I thought. Oh, the good weather in the sun has made things pop out of my little fig tree. A couple more weeks, she'll be green as a pepper. Boneyard. And look at this. It's been raining, so we had to move under here. That could mean only one thing. Yeah. Harris Teeter special. Well, you're friends for life now. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. 